Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about cross sections. So now I will show you how to answer. Now we need to wrap the function in here. So, we have the line perpendicular to x axis, similar for this one when we look on 3D. So, the cross section is about equiangular triangles that should be like this. Equiangular, that means three, three sides of this triangle. They should be equal. So that's why we have this one like this. This is about the cross section in here. If we look on 3D. So if we want to find about this one, we need to calculate or set up about the, the area of this triangle. So we need to find about the base and the height. So I will show you how to find the base first. The base, that is this one. So we need to put this one minus this one. Similar, this one minus this one. So I will divide this object into two section in here from 0 to number 6 and from number 6 to number 10 or we can use the second way to find the area of the triangle we have that we have 1 over 2 multiplied by side multiply another side in here and we know that a Equiangular triangles, we cannot use about side 60 degrees. So the side here is about base, but on other side they are same with the base. So we have the base in here. So I will use the second way to find the area of the triangle. So this one in here is about y equals from 0 to number 6 and we have number 2 in here that's about 1 over 3 s because if we put number 6 going here we have y equal to number 2 this one is about y equal to negative 1 over 3 s this section number 2 we have number 2 in here. That's about y equal to number 2. This one is about y equal to negative number 2. And now we have the formula to find the area of this one. Now we can set up about this interaction from 1 to 6. Oh, sorry, from 0 to 6. So we have from 0 to 6 in here and we have 1 over 3s minus negative 1 over 3s that's about a side of one triangle now because two sides they have same so we put power 2 and we have 1 over 2 in here and we have side 60 degrees and I will put about the S and the interaction number 2 they start from number 6 to number 10 so we have 1 over 2 
So 2 minus negative number 2 to the power of 2 sine 60 degrees ds. So we need to simplify everything in here. So we have the square root of number 3 over 4. This one, we have 2 over 3s to the power of 2 ds. And we do the second one. Two minus negative number two, we have four square ds. And now we need to calculate about this one. So this one we have four over nine s square ds. This one we have 16 ds. So number 4 with number 4 we cancel. We have the square root of number 3 over 9. The interaction of s square we have s to the power of 3 over 3. And we have the bounds from 0 to number 6. This one we have 16 s. And we have the bounds from number 6 to number 10. And now we can get the final answer. So we put number 6 going here, number 0 going here. So we have 6 to the power of 3 minus 0 to the power of 3 over 3 plus the square root of number 3 multiplied by number 4 we have 10 minus 6 we calculate about this one and we can get the final answer and we will have about 24 multiplied by the square root of number 3 and this is the final answer we need to find in here